I request uh, Mrs. Kasturi Mahapatra, ma'am, uh, to speak few words from us. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. So nice to see all, all of you in smiling face. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I am honored and privileged, feel privileged today to be here amongst you. And thank, thank you very much, Shweta, for inviting us inviting me to be with all of you. Uh, on the dais, Madam Gayatri Das, whom I know from, from I think, 30, 30 years, more than that. My husband, uh, when he was only 13 years old, he became a client, he became a patient of Dr. J.P. Das. And <coughs> Dr. Das, Elder brother, eldest brother, who is in, uh, who is a psychologist and residing in Canada, and his wife Gitapa, both of us were very close to us, and we learned a lot from them. And Gayatri Madam, uh, Shweta, I don't know how to describe her. She's a beautiful, ever smiling girl. She's my daughter. She's my daughter's age. I think she's uh, younger than my daughter. Uh, but. I have seen her, how, work, how she worked very hard to get her uh, PhD and delete also. Uh, she is a very good student, no doubt about that, but she is a very good orator. She speaks very well and she molds people so nicely. And she, I mean, we all love her. And I am a very, I'm, I'm a fan of her. <laughs> and, Whenever Shweta, even if I'm not there at home, she will come and make herself comfortable. She is really, uh, I mean, so she, the, it's very difficult to describe her qualities in words. Thank you, Shweta. And keep it up and keep, you up, keep, it, keep up your smiling always. And when I was in Apollo for four months in ventilator, I have seen, I will be waiting for Shweta. After 10.30, if she doesn't come, I, I, I was not able to talk. Uh, uh, I was, I'll be waiting for her to see, just to see a smiling face of uh, Shweta. So, and she will come, ma'am, you, you, you are not to be here. You'll have to come out. And Dr. Panambar Rai is here. He, he was there. And the most encouraging words, I mean, I always say that, if I am today standing up in front of you today, because of their good wishes, yes, doctors, doctors they treated us, but more than that, Dr. Roy's encouraging words really put me up. And uh, I mean, really, uh, I, I was I was not in a position to talk, even not to. I mean, it's a, I was affected by Guillain-Barré syndrome, and uh, four months. In a ventilator for an active lady, it used to be 24/7 with the people, with the disabled people, with the women and children. Be there suddenly for four and a half months. It was very difficult for me, but I have never. They have not been. Uh, they have not even given them given a chance to think. I mean, given a chance to me to think that he will not be here. Always, Dr. Roy will come. I mean, whenever he comes. With a smiling face, he'll say, Ma'am, you don't deserve to be here. I mean, I don't understand. You don't deserve to be here. You'll have to come out. And we are waiting for you to come out and talk to us. So that is the, and the carers, caregivers, the carers who took care of me. I have experienced in that period. They will come and be with me. And the way they, uh, uh, they talk, they conduct themselves, and the way they talk to me, it's, more, it's, it's healing, definitely. That is, I'm a psychologist, but they're more psychologists than the psychologists. They, they practice more psychological principles than the psychologists themselves. I'm sure uh, Shweta will uh, agree to me, because she's a psychologist also. And Madam, on the dais, Madam Das, who is your uh, head of the nursing staff, uh, and Mayor Dr. Misra, and all of you, all the beautiful, smiling, and caring ladies uh, over here. Thank you very much for inviting me. I would like to 
Uh, I'm not a good speaker, but I'll try, uh, try to say something. We celebrate days to commemorate the contribution of groups of human beings to the uplift of civilization. Celebrating the day is significant as it is encouraging and highlights women empowerment. So uh, we celebrated International Women's Day. This year's theme was invest in women and accelerate the progress. And the 24th slogan was like that. But now uh, the May 12th is the nursing day, International Nursing Day, and this, this year's theme was our nurses are our future, futures. So it's the women, it's the uh, uh, human beings we're talking about, and we, we need to invest in them. We need to give more in input, we need to give more resources, we need, to, we need to provide an enabling environment to work with them, and we need to care, uh, we need to give them, a, give them an opportunity that they should feel that they are, they are leading a life with dignity, which our constitution has given to us, the right to life with dignity. Each one of us, each one of us have a right to life with dignity. And that dignity comes from in the office, from the office, and from the workplace, and from the family, and from the society. So we all need to be careful and very, very watchful that what we are doing to our next generation, to the children, and what we have got to maintain, to manage, I mean, to maintain our dignity. Achieving gender equality and women's well-being in all aspects of life is more crucial than ever if we want to create prosperous economies and a healthy uh, planet. Move out to some of the Odia which birth away, Moiti Halki Chitakohevi, Lingagata Samanota, Eva Mohira, the Karpai Jalitiva, Lord Hede, Bohut Ulekanya Gragati Heji. There is no doubt about that. Yes, we have progressed a lot, but still we are. Uh, observing Women's Day, we are observing uh, different, uh, uh, like Healthcare Day, uh, Family Day, Paribara Divasa, Mohira Divasa, Vidhava Divasa, even Nursing Day also. Yet, Ahan Kebbala, Ethipai, Ethipai, this day we need to remember that we have, I mean, who have, who has, I mean, the, the, the members of the society, the women of the society, they have sacrificed their lives to, for the country, for the women also, and they have given us this freedom. The fighters, they have given us this freedom. Uh, have we really made progress? 76, 77 years of independence. Have we really made progress in our thinking? Are we really empowered? Are we that free? Are we equal to men? You ask yourself. You ask yourself and you will find out the answer. Just a few days back, I just was going through, a, I, I was searching for something in the internet. And, so, and it's so devastating and it's so discouraging and it's so disgusting uh, judgment of an indoor high court came to no, I, I, I just noticed that. That Jane Mohira, one woman, uh, she was, uh, I mean, both of them were separated, family, they're, they're separated, staying five years apart in separation. Then, then the High Court gave an order, you'll have to go back. Then she said, why? He said, of course, her lawyer just pleaded. Why? Why should I go back? I am not going to stay there. I am harassed. I am tortured every day in and out. I don't want to be there. I don't want to be with them. So the uh, husband's, husband's uh, lawyer, he argued, because she doesn't wear sindur on her head, she doesn't like to wear chudis. That's why she's not a, I mean, I, I, she, she will have to, because it's a dhar, dharma, dharma, and very surprising and very shockingly, because my blood boils, I mean, when I, uh, as an activist, I'm through and through an activist, I work for the children, I work for the women, and uh, I'm a rights activist. 
when I came to know that Bharatiya Nari Hisavare, Tanko Kuhagala, J. Just a minute. She left him because she said, and he has, uh, he and his family were torturing her for dowry. Five years later, the husband has gone to the court asking for re, re, uh, restitution of conjugal rights. The woman was not in the court. The judge noted the woman was not wearing shindur, which is the religious duty of a married woman. Go back to your husband. He ordered, and it was carried out. And similar sort of order also was carried out, uh, was also given, pronounced in the Assam, Assam High Court in 2020, Guwahati High Court in 2020 for a lady. Why all sorts of barriers, restrictions, principles are for the ladies, are for the women? Why? I mean, can, can the court say to a, husband, to a male person, that you go back to your wife because you are not uh, uh, you are not wearing that dhoti. So what sort of absurd thinking it is? So what I'm trying to impress upon you is most of us we know. Can I am from the very childhood. From the very childhood we. I am We always say that love yourself. How many of us, how, how many of you love yourself? Shweta will smile because uh, Smita knows, because Pratap, uh, my husband who is a psychologist, he always teaches his, uh, he always says, this is his slogan and non-negotiable, he always says. Uh, but how many of you? Know your talent. Know, uh, know your inner talent. You have, okay, you are working as a nurse, but besides, you have a lot of things to do. Uh, Shatha has told me that she, she sang that song, which was, uh, the, which we, all of us hear. And I really, I, I, I mean, so nice, so beautiful. She finds out time to, to, give some time to her, to her hobbies, to her, uh, to, to, to her interest. So how many of you knows you? Do you know yourself? Very few of us know ourselves. I have a lot of talents, I have a lot of skills, but do I get a space to bring that out? No, not always. But have we, have we ever tried to bring it out? Please try that. Profession is one thing, but your personal thing, your uh, interest, jota ki pila thena me kori parna thile, bahut barriers thila am pakhare. We are all empowered from our mother's womb. Yes or no? We are all empowered from our mother's womb, but the family, the society, and the schools, all the create barriers, restrictions, hurdles in front of us, in front of us. No, do's and don'ts, do this, don't do that. Do this, uh, I mean, wear this, don't wear this, talk sweetly, talk softly, don't, uh, don't shout. So, so many do's and don'ts in front of us, but still we, that, we, have, that, we have overcome that and came to this, this days. So why not try some more? Please know yourself, love yourself and accept yourself as you are. I was not a person with a disability before 2015. And I always say, working with the persons with disability and the children with disability, you never know who, when you are going to be experience disability. Because it comes, I mean, aging population, disability, all of us will experience disability, accident, I'll go out and I'll face an accident, I don't know where I will be. Accident related, age related and disease related. So all of us will definitely experience disability. So but 
that we have to accept ourselves. Yes, I used to do a lot of things, but now I'm restricted. Yes, I cannot do a few things, but I'll try my, try my best to do things. So what I'm trying to say is, don't compare yourself, accept yourself as you are. Then respect yourself. Please respect yourself. How many of us you respect yourself? Oh, that's good, one hand only. I, I, I think that all hands will go up. You don't respect yourself? Yes. So please do raise your hands. Please respect yourself. There are a lot of things you need to respect yourself. Yes, I'm, I'm beautiful. I always like Swetha. In one of the conversations between her and um, her sir was going on and I was there, I was overhearing. Sir, I don't like to wear that shoes. So Sarah was insisting that why don't you do it from here, Shweta? You're uh, 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 facing uh, more problems. No, I'll wait for the Germany, uh, for the shoes to come from Germany and I'll, I'll use that. So uh, then I intervened, I said that why, why are you insisting? When I, I was discharged from the hospital, went to home, I was very ambitious. Being a woman, yes, I was a very active woman, definitely. But my, I, as a woman, I, as a human being, I used to be consulted before you do anything for me. That, is, that should be the non-negotiables. That should be the principles. Just because I am disabled, you cannot just do things for me. You will have to consult with me. And you'll have to see my abilities, and then you, then you find out uh, some equipments for me. So if, if my husband gives something, and if I don't, I'm at that point of time, I used to get angry. Uh, and I don't like it, or I, I, don't, I know that I cannot use it, and he would insist. I said, that do, uh, I mean, what, why, uh, you're a psychologist? And you don't know how to, uh, I mean, you don't want to, you don't want to consult me before you buy the things? So what I'm trying to say is, yes, I, lo I, I would like to be, look beautiful. What wrong, what's wrong in that? I always admire uh, Shweta in that context. <laughs> I always. She's, she's really great. She always, uh, in front of me, one day she was discussing with somebody. I, uh, I was there. That freedom, that attitude, that attitude and change is necessary. We are all beautiful. But the way we behave ourselves, the way we... Uh, I mean, you need to uh, realize that. That no. That, that talent is with me, that beautifulness is with me, that womanness is with me. So I would like to be like a woman. I am a feminist, yes. What's wrong in that? So my point, I would only say that please... Boho samare. We often, the human beings, lose out individuality because, because we are a part of this group. But equality often, the self-concept is propped up by who define us. I, a woman, a mother, a nurse, or a caretaker, or a carer. The common stand, common stand is care, concern, and the softness. The things that makes the world go round. From my life's experience, as I said, a four months, four and a half months stay in ICU with nurses hovering in rotation, giving me hope when life looks impossible. I know what nursing can mean. I'm so much thankful to nurses individually and as a representative of a noble profession. I'm sure everybody in the nursing fraternity know about Florence Nightingale. It has already been discussed. In the school, we read that severely wounded soldiers kissed her shadow when she passed by them. It was certainly not because she did surgery, she didn't do any surgery, or dispensed medicines, but she gave hope. 
She gave hope to the patients, a smile, a few words, words of concern, and sweet talk. Those are the things that inject hope more than the saline. The nurses make the difference, unfortunately, not recognized. How many nurses have given the Padma Sri and Padma Bhushan Award by the government of India? No one, I don't think anybody has, given, has been awarded. Because it's not recognized. Day and night they would be working, but it's not recognized. The doctors they get, but the nurses, doctors, uh, I mean the nurses, they are not recognized. Their talents, their expertise, their carings, and their uh, uh, dedication, their commitment, is not recognized that much. Uh, nurses dispense comfort, compassion, and caring without even a prescription. You are the one who opens the eyes of a newborn and close the eyes of a dying patient, dying man. Of course, you don't have to be women, but most often they are. And women are still very much struggling in a male-dominated society. Women can do what men can do. But now we used to say, now we always say that women can do what the men can do. Now it's high time. The women, the men should say, we can do, the men should say that men can do what the women can, can do. So let's, let's reverse. So let's educate the men also. Because they, they, they should understand. Uh, one of my uh, friends, she's a, she's a doctor, and um, she has two boys, two sons, and she, um, I have one daughter. When she, they, they are, all of them are studying together, when they are in the college, she used to, uh, very worried, she used to be worried that her son were not back. Soon, so when I got to ask the thick time break, so that we were both worried. But that poor data, that was the case. Who was the one that was the one? Who 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 was the तर मुँह से थी भाई और एक मैं पूरा किसी असुविधा न कर कोई चीज़ को असुविधा न पके करें ना आसु से भले भले फेरी आसु मतलब तब पर दिन जब को न पड़ो पुलिस स्टेशन को यस इट्स अ फैक्ट सो सो वी नीड टू मेक आवर मेन फोक अंडरस्टैंड मेक देम अंडरस्टैंड दैट यस वी आर वुमेन एंड वी हैव अ राइट टू लाइफ विद we have, we are equal, no more, no less. So you need to give us that digni dignity. If you give me dignity, I'll give you dignity. If you give me respect, I'll give you respect. Otherwise, no. So these are certain things we need to understand. Uh, woman, uh, there are no limits what we do, what the woman can do. As women, can accomplish everything. Yet, in top places, in politics, in judiciary, in the administration, and in all aspects of human struggle for excellence, women are left behind. In judiciary, very few judges are there. In politics, we have 33% of reservation, but we don't want to fill it up before 2039. So that, <laughs> so we're not equal. Judiciary, I mean, politics, we don't get tickets because winability factor comes in. So, Constitution, Article 51, Amara Sambhidhanra Ekavano Dhara Kohuchi, talks about the fundamental duty of a citizen to strive for excellence. That doesn't say women are excluded. Like everybody else in India, we, the women, have a right to life with dignity, to love, to accept, and to respect, our, respect, the, respect ourselves as unique individuals and armed with that. We strive for excellence. To find what's best in us, today we have gathered here to celebrate Women's Day and also the Nursing Day. It's the, we are gathered here to celebrate the womanness and pride. We need to reshape our own perception of how we view 
ourselves. We hope we have to set up a woman and take the lead. I mean, I am a leader. 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 I am a I have a right to life with dignity without fear. How many of us lead a fearlessness life? I mean, go to the house, go to the school, go to the college, go to the house, 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 go to the house. Is it not? So, the house is going to be in the house. If I don't see the house, then I'll be in the house. भल मान हो जब मो स्वामी को खाई को ठीक न दली सरी गला कथा तेरे तेरे डॉरी डॉरी कहाँ कितने अभी डॉरी बा से डॉरों टक भीतर बाहर करों तो से डॉ फ्रीड मूत भाबे फियरलेस जे इज लाइक ए मशीन आई नो फ्रॉम माय ओन लाइफ एक्सपीरियंस दैट द मोर आई एक्सरसाइज इट द मोर नेचुरल इट बिकम्स सो इट्स अ Fearless, uh, you need to exercise more and more. Then it will become suffering. So, Pija, they have got a stiffness that we work for the children with cerebral palsy. And we all we have seen that in my institution, it's an institute for cerebral palsy. So, cerebral palsy children, it's become stiff. Muscles become stiff. But if you give therapeutic stimulation, then it becomes, it, it suffers. It becomes, the elasticity loses. And then, then they, they are able to uh, do something. So what I'm trying to say is exercise. Realize that you have a right to live with dignity and you have a right to live, you have a right of a fearlessness life. <laughs> that you will have to exercise, you will have to uh, feel, realize. The, realization, the sooner the realization, the better it is. तो हम जत्ते की मुंह निजो जीवन को जत्ते के अधिक अपन एक्सरसाइज करेंगे, सत्ते की अपन निजो जीवन और भय टक दूर ही देख पाएंगे। भय अपन को चला न चलो, जीवन को न चलो। अपन भय टक जत्ते वाले इच्छा वाले के नहीं आ सके पच्चे, तो सब वाले भय टक रखों दोनों। So I think women are scared of feeling powerful and strong and brave sometimes. There is nothing wrong with being afraid. Yes, you, you will, sometimes we feel afraid. And you see human tendency. It's natural. It is not the absence of fear. It's overcoming it and sometimes you just have to blast through and faith, have faith. You have to blast through and have faith. So believe in yourself. We the women always say that we can do anything that man can do. But men should now say, I have already said, we can do anything that women can do. Life is not easy uh, for any of us. We know how, I mean, each one of us know how we struggled and how we are struggling also. We must believe that we are gifted for something and that is that, that this thing must be attained. Uh, let's unite to transform challenges into opportunities and save a better future for all. Above all, be the heroine, not the victim. Be the heroine of your life, not the victim. Pidita Huani, heroine who. We are all empowered from our mother's womb, as I said. We are all empowered women. So we need to nurture that womanhood, that feminism, what lies inside us, that talent, what, what is there inside us. So do that. And one more thing, I would stop. There are a lot of programs, schemes, laws, which are not there before. Madam said in 75, there was the first conference. And then the 95, Beijing conference turned the lives of every woman in the, in, in the world as the uh, uh, convention on all forms of discrimination against women. So from 95, since 95, the government, they're asking for, UN is asking for the reports. So accordingly, they have changed the laws also. We have a lot of laws, plethora of laws we have, but the implementation is very less. The laws, we have sexual harassment, prevention and prohibition of sexual harassment to work, workplace. 
it's there with you, and you, I was just asking Shatta Madam go, the Apongar Internal Complaint Committee at Chiki, yes, it's there. So, Internal Complaint, I would just point out one thing, Internal Complaint Committee is not meant for, if any issue comes, in, if in any problem comes, then we'll interfere, no. Internal Complaint Committee should sensitize, should alert the women and the men for walking over here. That, and the boss of this institution, boss of every institution according to the law, to create an enabling environment, to create a safe and secure environment, to create a peaceful environment, is their duties and responsibility. So, uh, if I, I would feel safe means, is the boss, is Shweta Padma or the boss of the institution, they would, they would provide that environment. So then you would be safe. Safe and secure environment is very much necessary for a woman. For a woman, 20, working 24-7 is very, very much necessary. Uh, I don't think I will take much of a time. I have taken too much of time, but it just goes on. Being an activist, it goes on and on. So thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, and don't bow down. Be yourself, love yourself, accept yourself as you are, and respect yourself. Thank you so much. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you.